A local attorney this week settled one of the biggest corporate lawsuits of all time. General Motors has agreed to pay the clients of Bob Hilliard hundreds of millions of dollars. And even more to settle a criminal case with the federal government. Our Bart Betzel spoke with Hilliard about the settlements earlier today. The first victims to come to Bob Hilliard were the families of Natasha Weigel and Amy Rademacher, who died after a crash in Wisconsin in 2006. Hilliard was later selected as the lead attorney for everyone suing General Motors, eventually representing nearly 1,400 victims. The problem is a defective ignition that can suddenly turn off the engine. When the ignition went into the accessory position that way, the car would suddenly lose all power steering, power braking, and airbag deployment ability. The most common cars that had the problem, Chevy Cobalts and Saturn Ions, frequently driven by younger drivers. During the accident sequence, no airbag is available for protection, and so they often die from blunt force trauma to the head and chest. Federal prosecutors also accused GM of covering up the defect and claiming it wasn't a safety threat. To sum it up, um, they didn't tell the truth in the best way that they should have. The CEO of GM admits they were wrong. It further highlights the mistakes that were made by certain people in GM and it imposes significant penalties and obligations. Specifically, GM will pay the federal government $900 million to settle the criminal case. Hilliard isn't allowed to confirm the exact amount his clients will receive, but sources tell NBC News it's roughly $600 million. He hopes it allows the families who lost loved ones to move on. If you're inside this litigation, it's like peeling open a scab every couple of days because you have to participate in your own lawsuit. So this gives them compensation, it gives them closure, and it gives them a chance to at least move away from the daily reminder of the needlessness of their loss.